over here? <laughs> Yo, what up? It's your man, Big Brandon Carter. Won't you listen to me? You listen to me good. You are going to die. All of you. You, all your friends, your family, everyone you know, everyone you care about is going to die. Everything you love is only temporary. All of this shit will vanish. But while you're here, you're alive. And Bruce Lee said, if you love life, do not waste time. Because time is what life is made of. You're gonna die, bro. You don't know when either. It might be tomorrow, man. It might be today. But while you're alive, you need to put in the effort required to accomplish things. You need to put in effort. Life is about action. You need to be going for yours 100%. Because you only have a certain amount of time. What are you going to do with it? Are you going to waste it? Are you going to waste it running around? Bullshitting? Jagging off and playing video games? Or are you gonna go out there and accomplish something? When you die, are people gonna say that the world is better because of you? Will you have improved the lives of the people that come after you? With the life that you live now? Or are you just gonna bullshit it away? What do you want, man? What do you wanna accomplish? What do you want out of life? Whatever it is, you need to be going for it right now. And I don't mean, oh, YOLO, let's all get fucking drunk and high and run around and try to fuck as many bitches as we can. That's not what the fuck I mean. That's bullshit. That's an Epicurean way of living. It's, it's selfish almost. It's almost selfish to live your life that way. Because you gotta understand, we're all standing on the shoulders of giants. The life we live, all the amenities, all the comfort, all the, our life is better now because of the people who put in the work before us, right? Had it not been from the, the, the abolitionists, I'd be a slave right now, picking cotton somewhere. You know, had Thomas Edison not invented the light bulb, I'd be in the dark right now, man. I'd be in the dark in candle lights. We all benefit from people who put in hard work that came before us. And it's your duty as a human being to put in that same amount of hard work now so people uh, in your time and people after you are better off because of your effort. All great nations, you know, ancient Rome where the United States was built off stoicism, hard workers, people who went out in the unknown and made shit happen. What if Martin Luther King was like, oh, YOLO, you, over, you, over, you only live once, you know, instead of putting in work, where would we be as a nation? Put your fucking nose to the grindstone and put in work. When you die, is your family going to say, hey, our lives are better because of the work he put in? What about your friends? Are you improving the lives of your circle? Don't waste time. Every second counts. If you want to get good at something, if you want to accomplish something in life, you have to put in as much effort as you can each day. You have to squeeze as much fucking life out of each day as you can. Because you're only going to improve, no matter how hard you work, you're only going to improve a little bit each day. It's going to be minuscule, the amount of improvement you make. Undetectable to the naked eye. But it's a little bit. And every day, you need to get that little bit. You need to fight for that inch every day. And then, after, after, a, after a, a consecutive amount of days, weeks, months, years, that's where progress comes from. That's where progress comes from. Don't waste time now and say, oh, I'll work on that later. You think what you think you're just gonna throw a Hail Mary and make it the first time you try? No. Anything you want to accomplish is gonna take consistent effort over a long period of time. Anything noteworthy, anything worth accomplishing is gonna take consistent effort over a long period of time. Yeah, you can read the secret and you can be like, hey, and you can think, oh, if I just sit around thinking positive thoughts, some old man's gonna bring me that bicycle I wanted. Or or if I fucking watch funny movies, then I'm gonna be cured of cancer. That is not how the fucking world works, all right? 
You want that new bike, you gotta go out and earn it. You have to add value. You have to exchange goods or services for currency and then you can purchase your bike. If you have an illness, then you need to take the appropriate actions with, uh, with diet, exercise, healthy lifestyle. And then maybe after a certain amount of time, you'll get better. It comes from effort. And you have to put in the effort every day. Don't waste the fucking time, man. Cause it works the opposite way too. If you only, if you waste a little time here, a little time there, and you do that consistently, if you waste time, this is, success comes from consistent effort. If you're consistently bullshitting, then you're gonna, your life is gonna be bullshit. You know, after if you're consistently bullshitting for a consecutive amount of days, weeks, months, and your life is gonna be bullshit. It's the opposite, it's the exact opposite of putting in effort. Everything counts. If a plane takes off from LA and it's going to New York, it's New York bound. If that fucking plane is off just 1%, it seems like nothing, it's only off a little bit, hey, 1%, we can be off 1%, it's all good. <laughs> but if it's off 1% the whole time, then it's a six hour flight. So it's off, so that means it's off for one app for, for six hours, it's off 1%. That plane will not hit New York, it's gonna hit Delaware. 300 fucking miles from New York. Imagine if you hit your, if you miss your goal by fucking 300 miles. Just for being off a little bit. That plane missed his goal by fucking two states just for being off a little bit. That's why you cannot afford to waste time because you cannot afford to be off a little bit. You need to be 100%. You need to be 100% in. Because if you're off by 1%, you're gonna end up in fucking Delaware instead of New York, metaphorically. Everything counts. The great uh, Stoic philosopher, one of my heroes, Seneca, in his classic book, uh, the Shortness of Life, I'll put a link into it if you want to check it out. It's one of my favorite books. He says, it's not that we have a short amount of time to live, but it's that we waste most of it. Right? So your life seems short, not because you don't have enough time, but because you didn't put in enough effort. You bullshitted too much of your time away. Oh, YOLO, you only live once. Ah, let's party and bullshit. Shut the fuck up. Work. You only live once, so fucking work hard. You're gonna die. Any moment, literally any moment, could be your last. What impression will you live? What's your legacy gonna be? Is it gonna be because, is your legacy gonna be, oh, I got to the fucking ninth level of Grand Theft Auto, nobody's gonna give you any fucking props for that. And I'm not trying to hate on video games and all that shit, you know, whatever, everybody needs downtime, everybody needs time to relax. I, I have fun too, I have hobbies and shit, but if you spend too much time having fun, then you don't get no motherfucking work done. And if you don't get no motherfucking work done, then you're not going to get closer to accomplishing your goals. And if you don't accomplish your goals, then you're not making life better for people around you. You're not contributing to life here on planet Earth. You know, okay, you know, that's a mistake. Because if, if you are sitting around playing video games or fucking around on Facebook all day, you're making money for fucking Microsoft, you know, with the Xbox. Or you're making money for Mark Zuckerberg. You're, so you're, you're, you're contributing in that sense, I, I suppose. But you're not contributing to your goals. You know what I'm saying? You're not improving the lives of the people in your family. Do not waste time. Do not procrastinate. Uh, I do it when I get around to it. You know, uh, yeah, I need to start doing this. I hear all the time, man, oh, I need to start doing this. Somebody was coming to me, was like, yo, man, yeah, I'm thinking, I, I want to start a YouTube channel. I'm like, all right, let's do it, man, what are you waiting for? Oh, man, I need this, or I need that, I need a good camera, or I need, yo, shut the fuck up, man. Start where you are with what you have and go all out. Stop making excuses. I made some of my first videos 
my YouTube videos with my motherfucking phone, man. The Theodore Roosevelt said, "Do not wait for do not wait for conditions to be perfect. Start where you are with what you have." But you just need to know that you have to go all out and be consistent. If you want to be successful, don't waste time, don't bullshit. Go for yours. Cuz you're going to die. It's going to happen. There's no way to circumvent that. You're going to die. How do you maximize your output between now and then? It's effort, consistent effort, and making use of the time that you have. I hope that helps. I kind of just ran in off the head, but you know what the fuck I mean.